I've got a thrift haul to share with you guys today from two different places. One of them is a local store to me. The lady that owns it does not put price tags or stickers on anything, so you pretty much have to ask her what the price is for everything that she has in there. Um, and then I have a few things that I did pick up at Goodwill. But starting off, I'm showing you all this little Wexford glass jar. Um, I've been looking for one of these for a while now. They're not always that easy to find. Um, and I'm gonna use it for my carpet cleaner. If you watched my Sunday reset video, you saw me use this and I was looking for something to keep it in. So I mix my essential oils with baking soda and then I sprinkle it all over my carpet and rugs before I vacuum. And I don't know if the essential oils will be okay in this glass jar. I think that they will, but I'm gonna double check. And um, I had just enough left in there to fit perfectly in the jar. have been on the hunt for a small size picture frame just something that I like to put a picture of me and my dad inside my dad passed away in 2021 he died when the Delta variant of COVID was running rampant he just got sick was in the hospital for a while and he ended up having a, a really bad stroke and did not make it this was very hard on me. It still is hard on me. Um, I used to, I used to talk on the phone with my dad every day, guys. So it's it's been a struggle for me. But I've been looking for the perfect size picture frame because I have this picture of me and him at my wedding, and it's it's absolutely my favorite picture of us. It's very dear to me, and I've been just really wanting to bring that into my home so this is what i'm using this frame for i paid a dollar for it i believe that lady it was the same shop and she was just asking a dollar for the frames So I decided the best place to put this where I can see it every day um, is going to be up here on my desk where I do a lot of my Bible reading, my work on my laptop, my YouTube editing and all that. So I think it looks perfect. The next piece I got was this little crock here. It says Wisconsin Homestead. I think it's just so precious. I only paid $1.50 for this one from that same little thrift store. And... Um, I don't know. I don't have a piece like this in my home yet. So I'm just sticking it up here. This shelf above my window is like, I'm very limited on what I can put up here because everything I try to put up here does not fit. So I, I have like a lot of pictures, a lot of, you know, little bitty, like that's a butter dish, a couple baskets. So it's going to look good up here. Once I get it all rearranged, you'll see how I stick it up there. Now, I'm a sucker for all the feminine flowers, spring colors, just, I don't, I don't know, I just love florals, because y'all saw the pillow that I threw a fit over in one of my videos a while back, that's what it reminded me of, and these were only a dollar each at the same thrift store, this lady's prices were on point, I was not disappointed, so I'm trying to spruce up my bed a little bit. I've just been kind of like bland with my bed. And I think it's because a long time ago when chalk painting was the thing, I chalk painted my bed and y'all, it had the most beautiful wood finish on it. So I could really kick myself in the butt for painting it. I don't hate it, but I'm like, oh my gosh, I wish I could just go back to that wood. And I might try, I might try to remove the chalk paint one day so i was thinking about putting some more throw pillows up here but honestly less is more sometimes and i kind of just liked how it looked with those two just front and center and just not a whole bunch of throw pillows i don't know i just had to change it up a little bit so i put this green blanket and i think it just goes really well So 
so what I got at Goodwill, um, starting off, I, I got these little Pyrex bowls. I grabbed these for using in my kitchen for like sauces. Like when we eat dinner, we have something that involves dipping in something or when you're baking and you just need to add like some spices to a small bowl. Um, I paid $2.29 for those. They were labeled as a set of seven, but I only found three. So they, they took a couple dollars off. And then I found some Wexford salt and pepper shakers for $2.29. So I'm excited to finally upgrade my salt and pepper shakers because I use salt and pepper so much when I'm cooking that, you know, I get tired of looking at my little bitty Walmart salt and pepper shakers. Not that there's anything wrong with that. It's just I've been looking for these Wexford salt and pepper shakers forever. And I just think they're so pretty. So I went ahead and washed those up and went ahead and transferred all my salt and pepper over. Now, because I am obsessed with small lamps, I grabbed this Leviton I think that's how you say it um leviton lamp and it's brass i think it's brass it's very old it's very vintage but i could not find a shade for it anywhere in that goodwill the shade that went to it or any shade that would match it like you know the little frayed out looking um lamp shades that how do you explain it they you know what I'm talking about. The little vintage looking lampshades. That, there was none in there, okay? But I'm going to replace this other lamp I have on my coffee bar with this one. So I think I might just switch the shade. And if it just looks too weird, then I'll just keep on hunting for the perfect shade for it. But if I like it, then I'll probably just let it be up there. Because I have been looking to take out some of these little $10 modern looking lamps in my home and just replace them with something more my style. So I don't know y'all. Do y'all think it looks bad? I don't mind it. There it is right there. I don't think it looks too weird. So I went ahead and moved this other little Walmart lamp out the way and I'm putting my new cutie little lamp beside my coffee pot here. Now y'all sit down and listen to me tell y'all about these Levi's because I have been on the hunt for some Levi's in the thrift stores for years long before I ever had a YouTube channel. I have always been looking for them and anytime I found them they just weren't my size or they weren't like the fit you know that I wanted and these are the wedgie kind. They're so cute. They're very flattering. They're like the perfect mom jean. And this Goodwill is not up to the times, I guess, with all of the brands. Or they're just decent human beings and they don't overprice everything. Because I only paid $7.49 for these Levi's. And if you know, you know. Like retail, they are so expensive. So I like to just cuff them up and wear them with a t-shirt tucked in. I'm sure they're gonna look so cute in the winter too with a sweater, but I love them y'all. Like I'm so obsessed. I was so excited to find these jeans. And I've also never had that much luck with candle snuffers, but I grabbed this little precious little angel one today and I am gonna go ahead and style her in my home right now, but I think she's gonna come out in the forefront a little more during Christmas time because she is an angel. I think that's gonna look even better during the holidays. 
And because this lady who owned that little thrift store, she has all her Bibles for free. So I grabbed this little tiny one. It's just of the New Testament. And I put that up as well. And then I wanted to show y'all that we did get some baby chicks this past week. So I hope y'all like this video. Uh, leave me a comment, a thumbs up, subscribe if you feel like it. And thanks so much for watching.